Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited NHIDCL is undertaking surveys for two major road projects in Meghalaya. Preston Tensong, Deputy Chief Minister in charge of PWD Roads, announced on Thursday that the road from the Omyam flyover to the Civil Hospital Junction has been handed over to the NHIDCL, who are currently undertaking an alignment survey for an alternative route from Omyam to Shillong. Furthermore, Tensong said that NHIDCL is undertaking a survey to upgrade the existing two-lane road from the Omyam flyover to Malidor to a four-lane road as part of the Bharat Mala road project. The National Testing Agency, mandated to conduct the Common University Entrance Test, or CUET 2024, has announced that the exams will take place from the 15th of May and Meghalaya will have three centres for students to appear, Shillong, Tura and Joai. The number of allotted students for the three centres are Shillong, 8,535 candidates, Tura, 5,618 candidates and Joai with 4,269 candidates. The Indian Institute of Management, IIM Shillong, recently concluded its final placement for the 2024 PGB batch. The batch has received an incredible response from the industry, with 87 recruiters from various industries actively engaging in this year's placement drive. According to IIM Shillong's placement report, the highest CTC this year was Rs 71.50 lakh per annum or LPA, while the average CTC was Rs 26.10 LPA, with about 10% of students' CTC averaging Rs 42.15 LPA. The Sela Tunnel has been officially recognised as the highest tunnel in the country by the International Book of Honour England. BRO India built the 2.598 km long tunnel at a height of 13,000 feet on the Tezpur Tawang Road to ensure year-round connection to the vital Tawang region. The strategically significant Sela Tunnel, located at an elevation of 13,000 feet, will provide all-weather communication to Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh. Sahar Ali Sikdar, the in-charge block development officer, BDO, of Matia under Dudnoi LAC in Golpara district, was arrested today by the vigilance and anti-corruption sleuths for allegedly accepting a bribe from a complainant. The arrest was made while the BDO allegedly accepted Rs 5,000 as a bribe in exchange for clearing pending bills. The vigilance team caught him red-handed while accepting the bribe. According to reports, he will be taken to Guwahati head office of vigilance and anti-corruption branch for further questioning and investigation. The Supreme Court on Friday gave Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal interim bail till June 1 for campaigning in the ongoing Lok Sabha elections. A bench of justices Sanjeev Khanna and Dipankar Datta said Kejriwal, arrested in a money laundering case linked to the alleged excise policy scam, will have to surrender and go back to jail on June 2. The bench refused the request of senior advocate Abhishek Singhvi, appearing for Kejriwal, that the interim bail be granted till June 5, a day after the votes is counted on June 4. Amritpal Singh, the jail leader of the Waris Punjab Day gang, will file his Lok Sabha nomination from Debrugar, according to sources. The Punjab state government reportedly informed the Punjab and Haryana High Court on Friday that the state has allowed Amritpal Singh to file his nomination for the Lok Sabha elections 2024, despite the fact that he is currently jailed under the National Security Act. Singh will run as an independent candidate from Punjab's Shri Khadur Sahib parliamentary constituency. Thank you for listening to her podcast. Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. <laughs>